Well, the stars were out at track work this morning at Mooney Valley in the countdown to Tats Cox Plate preview day on Saturday, and there were none bigger than shootout, and so you think Queenslander shootout was here having his first look at the valley. Wasn't out to break any records, but he certainly handled the track OK. Never seen him so relaxed, which is probably a good thing if he's you know, going to get out to the to the trips this campaign of the Cox Plate and maybe even you know cups down the track. So yeah, I've never seen him so relaxed. He was lucky to go even time, but I think from John Wallace's point of view, they'd be happy that he's you know with the with the float trip across town and the and the media here etc. He didn't get too fired up, and he probably did what they wanted him to do. But as I said, I've never seen him so relaxed. Stevie Arnold made the trip to Mooney Valley to ride. So you think the Tats Cox Plate champion? He's not going to be seen this week. He'll be reserved for the Underwood State at Caulfield and Steve's very happy with the way the horse has progressed from his first up win. Pretty wet out there again this morning but uh, he's, he's come on since his run, feels great in his action and uh, yeah, he's, uh, all signs are pretty positive. Got to work well within himself this morning? Yeah he wasn't out to set any records this morning but uh, as I say his, his action's fine and I think he's come on a bit since the run, he's really well on himself and uh, looking forward to his next run. Just beautiful, I mean he's ticking over beautifully. By that time of the morning, although it wasn't late in the morning, but the track is, you know, probably a heavy eight, heavy nine, and you just hold their ho the, the heads together of the horses at work at that time. And I think I got him about 26, 12, his last 400, and was just cruising up on the the outside of Moatees, and they both worked really well. And you just know that that's what Bart does with his horses; they don't get paid for breaking records on the training track; they they get paid on race day, and they're just ticking over beautifully. Well, so you think headed a big team of Bart Cummings runners here today. Faint Perfume was also out in action. We saw a trio of horses nominated for Saturday's Dato Tan Chin Nam in Bright Night, Precedence and Sir Me Own. Well, John O'Shea was down from Sydney to cast an eye over Zabrasive's work here at the Valley this morning. He's decided with the wet track that he'll probably wait until the Underwood Stakes on Saturday week. He's done a lot better in Melbourne than what he was in Sydney, I have to be honest. And... Uh... You know, he's enjoying the surroundings and enjoying the one-on-one -on -one relationship he's got with his strapper and I'm very happy with him. Uh, definitely got around the valley good, uh, despite the fact it's extremely wet. Um, I, I was really happy with the way he got around the valley. I, th I think I'll leave him for the underwood. I think from what I saw this morning, the 1800 will suit him a bit better. Another horse that will be in action on Saturday week at Caulfield is the pint size filly Yosei, the AJC size produce winner. She was in action today with Michelle Payne aboard. Michelle, you've been out working Yose this morning. How was the track? Uh, the track's really soft, um, but she seems to get through it really well. And, yeah, she's coming along nicely. You must have uh, a great affinity with this horse. Yeah, yeah, she's, um, she's a bit of a little brat, but, she, yeah, she's got a bit of character about her, and she's coming along really well, so looking forward to the, to the run, new, next few runs ahead. Where are we likely to see her? Uh, I think she's heading to the... Guineas prelude Saturday week, um, all going well, and then on to the 1,000 guineas from there. Well, that was track work at Mooney Valley this morning. Really looking forward to seeing Shootout when he returns on Saturday. Expect to see Hubie Got You and Typhoon Tracy as well. It's going to be a great race, the Dato Tan Chin Nam. Stay tuned for more news.